get you off again. Hello, somebody's here. They're settling on him. Careful now, slowly. One, two, oh. oh no, what are you doing? Did you got a first? Careful now, they're settling on you. <laughs> Funny creatures they are. They'll settle on mud or any sort of garbage and now they're settling on you. <laughs>
No. No, sir. Now tell me, my precious, do women really interest you no longer? No, I'm tired of them. Oh, you men, you such cynics. You have all the fun you can get, and then you say, I tired of them. It's such a pity to be a woman. Why? We never grow out of love. Have you had a terrible past, Felix? When did you first fall in love? I don't know. I forget. It was so long ago. Ah. I was just a schoolboy. You were still a caterpillar. Call me a whole of these. Just a pity little bitty caterpillar. Tell me, was she beautiful? As beautiful. As what? As beautiful as you. <laughs> and did she love you? I don't know. I never really talked to her. Goodness gracious! What did you do to her then? <laughs> I looked at her from afar. Sitting on a green leaf. <laughs> I wrote letters, poems, my first novel. It's appalling the number of leaves a caterpillar uses up. Don't be nasty, Victor. Look, he has tears in his eyes. Tears? Poor little cry. I'm not! I'm not. Wait, look into my eyes. One, two, three. Ah. Ah. I knew you couldn't hold on any longer. Felix, my dear, what are the colors in my eyes? Blue like heaven. Yours are brown. Golden brown. I don't care for blue eyes very much. They're so cold. Poor Clyde. She has green eyes, hasn't she? Tell me, Felix. Do you like Clyde's eyes? Clyde's? I don't know. Yes. No, oh, but she has dreadfully thick ankles. You poets, <laughs> such bad judges of women. Have you heard Felix's last poem? It came out in spring anthology. <gasps> read it to me quickly! You don't have to read it to her, it's bad. It's old. I passed the days a long time ago. It's called the eternal life. You don't have to read it to her, really? There's nothing true. The earth and sky will fall when first created. And you and I will surely lie when the love is consummated. Oh, that's witty, isn't it, Victor? How did you think of it, Felix? What does consummated mean? From the Latin word consumere. It means when love has <clears throat> achieved its goal. What goal? Well, the usual one. <laughs> How shocking! Felix is Latin, you know so immoral. Aristotle, it's a bad hole. Why bad? Victor, can you go fetch my fan in the garden? Oh, don't let me disturb you. <laughs> Felix, you can tell me the truth. You can tell me everything. Iris, how can you bear him? That fault, that silk hat is satire. Who, hey, Victor? How foully he thinks of you, of love, of everything. <laughs> Victor, he's so soothing. No, Felix, talk to me about poetry. <clears throat> I'm very fond of poetry. Tell me, Felix, poets are dreadfully, hideously, passionate, aren't they? Iris, I wrote that poem a long time ago. Oh, but if this Latin word so coarse, if it's anything I can't stand, Felix, is that if something has a horrid name, you have to be tender and gentle with women. For instance, if I were to let you kiss me, you wouldn't give me a horrid name, would Iris, you? Iris, I wouldn't dare kiss you. Be brave, little man. Tell me, who is that poem to? No, no, no. To whom then? To nobody. To nobody. Or rather, to all the women in the world. To all the women in the field. That's such a naughty fib. But you must tell me, who's your lady bird now? Don't tell. Really won't. No. I haven't got one. What? Not yet. I swear. Clever. Tell 
Tell me, what are you thinking about right now? No man is real. Casey, quit me then! Not directly, please! Paris, I... Ah! Oh, how stupid it is to be a woman! I should wish to be a man! Felix, I have made such a fearfully passionate man! To kiss, to tempt, to overcome! I should seize everything that I wanted! Brutally! Savagely! Such a pity you want a girl. Let's pretend, shall we? You meet Felix? I mean Iris, and I mean Felix. Iris. It's too dangerous to be Felix. To be Felix means desiring something. Not something. Everything. Desiring the impossible is better than desiring everything. What could be keeping Victor so long? Would you mind fetching him for me? Iris, I haven't offended you, have I? I haven't said too much. No, I shouldn't say too much. Actually, you're rather crude. You know, when you're in the company of a lady, you shouldn't be acting as if you were desiring something that isn't there. The unattainable is there. Where? Your image. My image? Have you fallen in love with my image? Look, my image has hurt you. I kiss it quick. It is as unattainable as you. Am I unattainable? I know. Write me a poem. Something. Now that at last we have met, think you I care what I follow. Let me be snared in a net. Let me be snapped by a swallow. I shall have tasted of bliss. I shall have flown to where the fire is. Can we die in this beautiful, exquisite fire? Don't help her, Iris, Iris! Oh, that tiresome clay! Fancy, Iris, Otto said. Got you now, Clyde. Oh, I beg your pardon. How are you, Iris? How are you, my boy? <laughs> You're our friend, Clyde. Otto has been chasing me. She flew away, so I had to follow her. <laughs> Quite a little party. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls? Yes. Love means 
nothing to you. I want something special, something pure, something new. Right, though. What you're getting at? Me! 
Yes, you, you lump of rubbish! Silly swine! That head! That head is so fine! Where are you going? It's Dora, isn't it? I'm all of a tremble! A capital. A lovely capital. Careful, careful! Can't be too careful with our little capital. How we save and scrape and toil and moil to come by it. Night and morning, toiled and moiled and saved and scraped. And we seen it grow and grow, haven't we? <laughs> bit by bit, a little full of blessedness. Our very own it is. Our very own. Our life's work. Smell it, old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the weight of it. Ours. Ours.
don't know. Something great. I should be something extraordinary. I'm being fun. Go on. Go, go on. Shall do something great. Well, when I change my state, the whole world will be astounded. Well, hurry up. I'll wait. Look at me, that is going to be something nice. <laughs> Daughter, you must eat. You mustn't come out. Daddy'll soon be back and I'll bring you something nice. What'd you like me to eat? Daddy, I'm bored here. <laughs> That's a nice thing to say. Give Daddy a kiss. <laughs> I'll bring you something nice and tasty. Took another cricket. <laughs> Not a bad idea. I'm <laughs> She doesn't know what she like. Bless her little heart. I'll bring you something you like. Ta-ta! Daddy must go to work now. Daddy must go a hunting and fetch something for his popsy wopsy. Go back now, popping and wait for your ding din. <laughs> <laughs> Pile up trash. 
pressure. And when Dad comes and nabs him proper, he's still sweating to make it bigger, still puffing and still heaving, and what's he gained? Why, nothing. Look out, darling. Take care you don't stumble. Here we are, here we are. Oopsie daisy. This is where we live. This is our new little home. Can't you ever hurt yourself, have you? No, Cricket, don't be absurd. Why, darling, of course. You must be careful. Look, how do you like it? Oh, darling, I'm so tired. Sit down, darling, sit down. You must take great care of yourself. What a long way. Men never know half the trouble moving is. Oh, darling, come, come. Look, darling, look. But don't get cross, you horrid man. <laughs> I won't say another word. Really, I won't. Miss Crick, fancy Mrs. Cricket, won't take care of herself, and even in her own state. What do you think of that? You naughty man! How can you joke about it? Oh, I'm just so happy. Fancy all the little crickets. All the little noise and the little and the choking. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, you silly boy. Wants to be a great big daddy, eh? Don't you want to be a mommy, my auntie? Yes, I'm does. <laughs> Is this our new home? Our little nest. Will it be dry? Who built it? I think I used to live here a few years ago. Oh, fancy. Has he moved? Ah, yes, he's moved. A bird got him. <laughs> snip, snap, snip. And now we're moving into the house. <laughs> but, by job. Uh, yeah, this is, it was my good luck. God put him up alive? How horrible! <laughs> hey, good send. It's a good, it's a God send for us. I, I had a bit of a laugh. Oh, and you saw him eat it? Like I said, snip, snap. <laughs> I have such a queer feeling. Oh, good heavens, it can't be. Not yet. Oh, oh dear, I'm so frightened. Oh, darling, it's not even frightened of every lady. It's all for your mother, you can talk, Cricket. Cricket, will you always love me? Oh, darling, always. Oh, no, dear, don't cry. Come, love. Show me how he swallowed him. Snip, snap. Snip, snap. <laughs> And we'll get some. Curtains? Why, curtains, of course. How, how clever of you. Give me a kiss. None of it now, you silly boy. Well, silly, of course I am. Guess what I have, bro? Curtains? Mm, something smaller. Quick, quick, show me. Oh, my God, that's so sweet. Rattling. Darling. <laughs> I must run off now, introduce myself to the neighbors, have to look around. What about me? Well, for me if you need me. I'm sure I expect the neighbor to come talk to him about children and stuff. You bad boy! I'll be back, be careful, Linda. Hush your eat, 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 Right away. 
Here I am, my darling. Here I am, my precious. Where are you, darling? Guess what? Hubby's got you.
Why, that's just the same as us. MPs, we have and borough councillors. That's democracy. Have you got borough councillors? No, we have the whole. And who speaks for the whole? He knows nothing. Uh, she, who orders, you know? The one who issues commands. She abides in the law. She's nowhere else. Uh, and who gives you your orders? Reason or the whole of the set. That's it. I like that. All for the whole and the whole for all. For her majesty and against its enemies. What? That? Against who? Against all! We are surrounded by enemies. We defeated the blacks and starved out the browns. And subjugated the greys and now only the yellows are left. We must starve out the yellows. We must starve them all out. Why? The interest of the whole! The interest of the whole and the high interest of right! Industrial interest! Colonial interest! World interest! Interests of the world! That's it! All interests are the whole! Nobody may have interest but the whole! Interests preserve the whole! And war nourishes. Ah, your warlike hands! <laughs> he knows nothing! Our hands are the most peaceful acts! A nation of peace! A labor state! A world power! We only wish for world power because we wish for world peace! the interest of progress, a war that has never been more honourable than the war that we must fight. We are fighting the battle of peace. Bling, two, three, four. We must quicken the speed. Every movement must be quickened. Sharp, calculated. calculated. Turn the second. To the end of the second. So as to save time. And to increase the output, work has been too slow. Labour must be carried out unsparingly, ruthlessly. And what's the hurry anyway? The interest of the whole. It is a question of output, question of power. Peaceful competition. We are fighting the battle of peace. Link to Faster, faster! Touch, touch, what's that? Get up! Dead. Gary in the way! He died honorably in the cause of speed. How are you carrying him? Too slowly, you're wasting time. Drop him! Yeah, there's 
want a yacht of grass and don't you let them win. They call, they shout, they beat their drums. The great moon comes. Thank you. 
evacuated at the foot of the first bush. Victory is ours! Great God of the ants, thou hast granted thy servant victory. Oh, yeah. 